Good evening, people. Welcome back to Danny AFC TV. I hope you've had a fucking glorious, glorious Monday. It's been a yeah drizzly day around the Emirates, so I'll tell you that much. Like, you know what I mean? Not even in terms of football news, it's pissing down the rain. Sorry, people. But yeah, good evening. Welcome. First of all, thanks for everyone that has subscribed. And as you know of me, that is each and every single one of you. Every one of you will be replied to. Anyone who messages me, I will get back to. Anyone who wants shouts, I will get your shouts out as well. Um, but yeah, peace, love, and moi for all the new subscribers, especially on the YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for the love on Twitter as normal. I'm gonna have to start fucking about with Insta as of tonight, and I start seeing if I can blow that up a little bit. But um, on to Arsenal news. Is Edu about to be the saviour? Is he about to on fraud himself? Let's say. Word on road is he's, he is going after this Brenda kid uh, from Sao Paulo. Uh, I don't know how true it is. I just keep seeing it absolutely everywhere. It's different links, different sources, different... Um, I know it ain't a Fabrizio Romano as yet, but a lot of different sources and media networks and platforms are grabbing hold of this. And they are saying that Arsenal in, in a uh, chasing down a deal for Sa the Sao Paulo kid, Bremner, in January, like... In a Martinelli style deal, well, no, Martinelli played for like Itchua or something in like Division 4, Sao Paulo, quite a good team, number one. The rumour was he had like a 40, 50 million quid uh, release clause, and now that's been half. What is that just because Arsenal and Edu come along? I fucking doubt it. But um, all we can do is see, it's going to start gathering pace. One or two more defeats, it will fucking gather pace, I'm telling you. And because um, we're four defeats in. But yeah, let's not think about defeats. We're going to come to Leeds later in the week. Um, a dodgy old game to come back to isn't it leads away then again if we go down win 3-0 the Arteta lovers will come back out but anyway enough of that on to the actual news now I told you last night Barcelona have been in, uh, apparently interested in Mustafi like I don't know there's no fee band around they're probably wanting for free or something cheeky but um, Valencia apparently are throwing their hat into that literally like, like you know what I mean off with a hat and fucking yeah so is Mustafi about to leave will that be isn't that between 90 and 100 grand a week wages off the bill um, off, obviously, sorry, what the club are paying out every month. Will Socrates be able to finally fuck off? Obviously, he ain't even got a squad number. Well, he's got his number, you know what I mean? He doesn't play. That's it. He's out of the team. Will Ozil pack up and fuck off in, Oz in um, January? Uh, that also, that all there is over, f um, that's over half a million a week. That's madness, like, just on them fuckers. But um, anyone, would you be sending out on loan? I was talking on the football terrace, I kind of expressed a quickly, a quick opinion how I thought Nelson, I didn't mention Smith Rowe, but Nelson, Willock and Katie, and Katie is too much of a pet project at the moment, but these guys ain't really doing it. Willock only gets chances on a Thursday, even though he does play well. Smith Rowe we haven't fucking seen. I know he was injured, but he's back now, I'm sure of it, don't even try it. Um, and Willock, yeah, like, what, and Nelson, what are we going to do with these guys? Like, are they all like... Not to be rude, like 15 million quids for palaces and West Ham's here and there, like to raise us money later on for future signings. Are they gonna start fucking nail down places in this team? I don't think none of them look ready for it. We haven't seen Smith row. Nelson looks miles away. Willock plays well on Thursdays, and Nketiah is just. <laughs> Nketiah is dead, guys. I, I, I don't know what anyone sees in him. I haven't seen this Ian Wright prolific striker all that bollocks anyone's talking I've seen not prolific I've just seen him chase geezers down there's the odd goal the odd bit of bravery but fuck me you're a professional footballer and you play for Arsenal so AD you have to fix that up son seriously because you're dead I'd be giving Ballard a chance like this geezer still hasn't, hasn't signed a deal that's worrying as fuck you know what I mean is he about to walk out for free the USA born kid like again <clears throat> he's played once what 15 minutes he didn't have a shot on goal. It was pretty dead, but I don't know, man. I'd like to see Balogun given a chance before we lose him. Wow, absolutely fuck all. Um, I asked you about a poll yesterday. I haven't really heard much people. I'm gonna get it out on Twitter as well tonight. What does Arsenal need? What position is it? And if it's this creative midfielder that everyone's screaming about, Awa, Slobby's liar, Grelish, even though I think he's probably ungettable. Christopher and Cuckoo at RSB, RB we've been uh, linked with. Open Moncano apparently says he wants out. I reckon Liverpool, Man United, they're going to go in for him. Like, it's not like our defence ain't all over the place. 
Liverpool just had a couple of injuries. Oh, God, make a nice good 40, 45 million pound signing. Upper Moncano, 21 years old, French international, all round good player. Did have a bit of a nightmare against Man U recently. It wasn't so much a nightmare, it was just one deflection, one own goal. Like, is that a nightmare? Is that bad luck? Um, well, fuck me, we've got Louise holding Chambers. Fucking, oh my God, Mari. I'd have him all day long in it. So, but yeah. I reckon Liverpool are going to snap that fucker up. It's great. Could Chelsea snake in for Sancho? I don't know where I read this. This was just popped up on me today. It's probably just a load of bollocks. But it says Sancho... Uh, Sancho. Chelsea's ready to make a move for Sancho in January. Like They did spend a lot of money in um in the summer. Like Is Abramovich going to keep that going? I don't really know. If there's any Chelsea fans, let me know. Like Is Abramovich going to keep this ball rolling for Lampard? Has Lampard done enough to deserve more money? Like Is he going to get more money in January to go and fling out there? talking of money in January do you think Arsenal's going to have money in January guys are we going to have anything to fucking spend or do you remember like uh, Emre a couple of see I got loans I've got loans and what the fuck did he pop off with that midfielder oh fuck oh he's so shit I can't remember his name yeah oh it's on the tip of my tongue I was going to say Danny Sabayas we can clearly know it ain't him oh fuck it was almost there it was a Barcelona geezer oh you can't Danny but yeah I got loans. We got loans. We got loans. Let's fucking hope not, innit? But, um, what else is going on here? Um, Kevin Campbell. He, um, oh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Sorry, that was it. Right. Fucking hell. I'm so sorry, guys. I was looking at Gwen Doozy. He's had a couple of good games for her for Berlin. I know it's only two, but uh, the manager's come out and said he's been doing well. What's his name? Is it, um... I can't remember, but yeah, Marco Rossi or something, I think his name is, I honestly can't remember, Rossi, Marco Rossi, no, that's the Hungarian manager, that's the schlubby's lie bit, sorry, I got that arse over tip, but anyway, listen, point being is here, is fucking Gwen Doozy, I'm still pissed that he's out there, isn't it? like, sorry, I think that's, I just get annoyed when I think of Gwen Doozy, like, like, Emre wouldn't have sent him out, I don't know why I'd take a come in and send him straight out, I've already spoke about this before, so I'm not going to go into it too deeply, but Gwendoz is going to, I reckon he's going to have a really good season at Erfa Berlin and they're either going to take him again for another season or one of the bigger teams in Europe will come and take him and get him at a bargain price because we've obviously laid our cards on the table and said we don't want this little bastard so that's it, he's done like and I just don't believe that. It's going to be like Saliba as well. Saliba's done as well I reckon guys. Saliba, Gwendoz, is it a French thing? Is it an Emre thing? Fuck knows. Absolutely fuck knows. Schlobbezai is linked with us again. This every day we know. But now it's along with Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich won him and um, Real Madrid. And that was the bit. Marco Rossi, the hungry manager, he's the geezer that come out and said he reckons um, Schlobbezai is going to go to Germany. Q2 as well. Matthew Flamini. Who remembers him? He's laughed off suggestions. He's going to buy Arsenal. Fuck knows where that come from. I do know he's literally richer than God. Like, do you know what I mean? If there was a, a timetable of richest people, Flamini is probably out there somewhere. But... Um, yeah, he smashed it after football. He was doing some madness. I don't know what it was. Science to do the world, planets, fuck knows. Like, we've been linked with Osman Dembele. Like, I'm sure it's a load of bollocks. What did it come up as? A Bambi Amstring signing can come true in January. Like, so I'm not going to go into that. It's probably a load of bullshit. It is most likely destination again, just like Jack Kellish will be up with Terry at fucking Man United. But um, on that shout out to the Football Factory. Uh, football. Fuck me, I keep doing that. What's up with me? I don't even. I ain't watched a Football Factory in years. Shouts out to the football fucking terrace. Shouts out to you, Terry. Shouts out to all the guys on the football terrace. Anyway, I watched them late midnight show last night. A couple girls. A couple of nice looking girls as well, as it happens. And yeah, certain people on there. Yeah, all good show. I did leave a couple comments, whatever. Um, yeah, I can't believe Mustafi's been linked with Barcelona. Valencia now into that. And I think that kind of concludes what I was writing. Because the rest of it, um, not that I talk nonsense, guys. But it's, yeah, it's a load of media bollocks. It's the January round the corner bit. And people are being mischievous. Right. We've got Leeds at the weekend. I know. I think, is there one more international to get out of the way? Fuck me. I'm sure there is. But um, Leeds, yeah. Is it the flat back eight? I'm sure he's going to go with a five. He's going to say it was an away game. It's a difficult game. But he's going to go with a five at the back. So that's three, two wing backs. And probably on any and party again. Let's just hope party is able to play. He'll redeem himself after Afton Villa. Every cunt needs to redeem themselves after, after Aston Villa. That's from the goalkeeper, though. Every cunt, every cunt. Manager, fucking whole club, top to bottom. Redemption needs to be in, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't know. What is the most likely signings in January? I think Bremner sounds interesting. 
young Brazilian striker. But then again, is he, is he even going to play a young Brazilian striker that's already at the fucking club? Martinelli. Fuck me. That's going to be interesting. I need to... Uh, I'm gonna, as soon as I jump off this train, I need to go and see how fit this fucking Martinelli is. I want him back in the team, fucking immediately, pushing for minutes, ASAP, left or right, I don't give a fuck, get a band behind through the middle. Imagine he's gonna play Martinelli here, and imagine if he still kept a band behind on the left with Martinelli through the centre. Fuck me. Martinelli played really well on the left every time for me, even though he's probably a central striker. I think this geezer is gonna be clinical on the left wing. I know you have to accommodate Saka, but like, fuck me, we need to do something. So I need a little bit of creative edge. Martinelli, my Brazilian hero. I'm back in you, G. I'm back in you, my G. You've got to be that creative edge. Um, before I get off and jump on to all of the shouts out, and have a bundle. Nelson, Smith Rowe, Willock, Nket. Well, Nket is going to stay. Balogun, is Balogun going to sign or go? What would you do with some of this, these English youth coming through? We've now got the other whole set, a lot that we signed in the summer. The geese are from Ajax and Zane Manalus. Uh, Watford and um, the guy Moller from Sweden got a hat trick, got one in his day against Man City in the end of 23s. Uh, there's that Akinola. Um, are any of these guys going to start sort of getting minutes? We're through in the Europa League now, but no one can catch us. It's three wins out of three. Surely that's got to be the kids going to start being playing now. But I've got to get into a bunch of shouts out because this will be a world record video, guys. Listen, man, I'm gonna start off tonight with Hazard Khan. You are the man, bros. G, Haza, absolutely love you, man. Chat sense about football, all-round knowledge. You seem totally on point, man. I have to do a meet-up one day. We're going to have to have a little Emirates interview, me and you. We'll call a few people, though. We'll make it a bit interesting, not just, just the fucking pair of us. We'll get a few people down at the Emirates. We'll have a little meet-up. We'll have an interview. We'll have a little talk-off of a few people and a little football debate. As this is what we're doing. Kieran Sweeney, Sweeney Brap, I've got you, my brother. Right, Super Sav, he wants to shout out Arif L. I thought that was El Nenny. El Mohammed. So Arif Mel El No Arif El Mohammed. That's a shout out from Super Sav. I hope I got that right, guys. Shit. Shout out to Craig. AFC Mad Dog, what are you saying, my brother? The Arsenal Defence. Fucking love that name. Rick, Ian, I think you're most from Twitter. John Monkey, what's going on? Glory, glory. Uh Ryan. Right, who is this? Bane Z. I think it's a wind up. No. Bane Z. Pumitra. I'm gonna look at that again. I've written that down. Fucked up. Sorry, guys. Bainzi pu pu Pumitra. 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 Bainzi Pumitra. My God, I'm not sure. I hope I got that right. Mickey again. Dan. Kevin. <laughs> Who's that? It's not fucking Tim Westwood. Oh no. Sorry. Safe flight. Uh, from Ryan. From fucking Ryan. So sorry. A safe flight to Bainzi. And I don't even want to say a surname again. That's it. Shouts out to Dan. And Never Dan is out there. Never Dan. J. AFC1. J again. So that's J and J. AFC1. E17 Spurs. LZ. Let's call you Lizard today. Fuck me. Rubes. Or Roop, sorry. Mr. Yid. Justin Stevens. Yid Army. DC. Cannon Raguna. What's going on, my G? Cannon Raguna. What are you saying, bros? Um... Who's this now? Oh my god. Um, Siptain, what's going on? Feeman, Dan Bailey, the true blue tattoo. Byro Splific, what's going on? Shagan, Bivs, Yan, what's going on, Yan the man? Viv, Deborah, Samantha, Jamie Mays, Fondue Edge, Bobby, Mike. I think most of you guys are from Twitter now, so this is the Twitter shouters. Yudo81, AKA, I don't know what I tried to write there. Falafel man, shouts out to you. I've missed someone there, you know, and I'm so sorry. AKA who? Daff. No, it's not Daff. God knows why I ripped down. So sorry. Shouts out to the football terrorist, the fifth official, Ronnie. Ronnie Flynn. Chris Tatton, what's going on, my brother? Shouts out to your mate. Is it something up? Something fucking Humphrey. So sorry, man. I didn't get it today. Um, Ronnie. Ron Flynn, as I was saying. Jen. Neeks. Terry. Eagle. Football Terrace, what's going on? Sue and Chris, what's going on, guys? Oliver, Del Boy and Archie, what's going on, boys? Um, Del Boy, Dad, sorry, Archie, son. Um, Andrew Brooks, Graham Hill, Hill Gunner, and Chris Tam and his mate, sweet. Keba, Shagan, and I can't believe the couple that I just can't get out there. Like, I don't know what I tried. Mad Franks, shouts out to you, Mike. 
Mike's Mike the boy. Fuck knows what I was trying to get out there. I never Kevin has kind of popped up, and it wasn't Kevin Campbell. Yeah, and the man I've already said, Feeman, and AKA is at Daps, Daps, Daps. Fuck, I've got you next time. I'm so sorry. And there was a couple really late. Yeah, Geezer called Richie got onto me. What's going on, Richie, my brother? He wants to show uh, Rocky Rocastle B. Fucking old school there, bruvs. And who's that? The South East Schooner crew. Wayne Limpa Goldie. Anders Limpa. I fucking loved Anders Limpa. So, you know what? You, your crew sounds cool. So, what's that? That's Richie. The Rocky Rowcast will be South East Schooner. Wayne Limpa Goldie. And I was going to say the bitch man, but it ain't. It's the Birch man, Marky D. So, listen again, guys. I'll rewrite that for you. That's Marky D. Birch man, Marky D. Wayne Limpar Goldie, shouts out to you, fucking Limpar Limpar. And of course, the legend himself, innit? Richie, shouts out on that one, man. And Rocky Rowcast will be. All you South East London boys, innit? Safe. James, Paul, what have I written there? Riddles, my God. Paul who? Paul Richards, sorry, I think that looks like. And Jake Baldrick. Jake Baldrick, was that what I was over here? Jake, Jake Baldrick, Badrick, guys, listen, anyone that I forgot, honestly, as you can see, man, there's fucking millions of our. I'm writing you down and then I get names I think they just, have, I, have I said that have I written that down already and um, whatever so guys listen um, yeah it's Leeds United at the weekend I'm going to do a whole listen we're not behaving this just Arsenal I'm going to do a whole little round up because there's some fucking wicked games this weekend coming up I'm not sure is it, is it Leicester Liverpool there's obviously Leeds Arsenal there's a few fucking good games so I'm going to start getting into that from tomorrow um, yeah I want a premiership round up so any other fans please get at me now as well any Liverpool Chelsea Tottenham um, Man U, Man City, Leeds, I don't give a fuck who you are, give me some shouts, um, and yeah man, any sense ones out there, especially Leeds, Liverpool, especially when we play you guys, Leeds fans, you want to get on a little fan debate, want to get on the, on, the, on the thing, on the show, at me Leeds fans, isn't it? Danny, AFC TV, Instagram, I think it's Dan underscore AFC TV, or Danny, again, Danny AFC TV, and Twitter, 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 Twitter is Dan AFC underscore, no, fuck knows, Dan underscore AFC TV. Guys, fucking just get me everywhere. Let's start chatting. I'm going to start getting this move, uh, channel moving. The laptop is landing tomorrow officially. It's going to take me a little while, a few days, a week to get into that because I'm not brilliant with them. Start putting up some graphics, start getting a green screen, all that sort of bollocks. Whatever's necessary to start making shit a bit look more professional. I don't really give a fuck, you know, I could have a thousand hats behind me. It's not about that, but... A bit of professionalism to the channel, innit? Um, but yeah, guys, until tomorrow, listen, um, have a wonderful night. Keep it locked down at AFC TV. I am drawing out a guy this week. I'm just... I'm just rounding up the ammunition, innit? And um, you can't just shoot a guy down for no reason. But there's a couple of people I clearly don't like. And um, pop, pop, pop. it's fucking going to be fire time, innit? So keep that locked this week for some fucking fire flames. And most probably, obviously, fucking bars spat at these little pricks, innit? Um, you wanna know who they are? Get at me, innit? Guys, have a wonderful night. Shouts out to everyone. Mr. Easy Ruster, fresh. Fuck me, almost forgot you two. They're the last two for tonight. Lodger Char Logger Charlie, Mark. Fuck me, there's another one up right at the top. Mark said he wants a shout out to Logger Charlie. As you can see, even right to the end, I'm trying to get you all in, yeah? Shouts out anyone I've missed. I'll fucking have you tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm going to start getting a few bits going on for the channel. A few little giveaways, little minors, do you know what I mean? Um, bits to make things interesting, innit? Just for the, for the real ones out there, innit? But guys, fucking have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow, innit? Shouts out to all the real ones. Peace. Get me out. Listen, I want this fucking YouTube channel. I want more subscribers. If you're new, fucking hit the subscribe button. Like, like, like. Subscribe the fuck out of the thing. And um, yeah. I want all fans at me. Seriously, shout out to Mohammed Mohammed as well. I forgot all the uh, Tony Phillips. I forgot all the YouTube guys. I'm so fucking sorry. I'll grab a list just for you. You are the important ones. I'm going to have it right. You YouTube guys are the important ones, innit? So, um, shout out to Mohammed Mohammed. Uh, God, I forgot you all. Seriously, listen, man. There's just, just whole loads of numbers and, and names in my head, innit? I'll have you all out tomorrow. I'll have you all out. No, no. I'll be shouting you all out tomorrow. I'll calling you all out tomorrow. And yeah, peace. Have a wonderful night, guys. Love the fuck out of all of you. Keep it down here at CTV. I promise you, we're going fucking forward. This is going to get more entertaining. This is going up and up. We're ready to go, innit? Shouts out, guys. Good night.